Hey guys, it's Ann, and today we're going to take a look in on the no grit bin. Uh, but first, we're going to have to take one of the wormery helpers and relocate it because I don't really want a big fuzzy spider crawling on me when I'm doing this bin. So give me a second and get him to move out. All right, so it looks like they finally vacated this uh, string from the last t-shirt. So we can get that out of there finally. So let's have a look and see what they're doing. I know this bin is about ready to get harvested. So let's move off this t-shirt and see what we have. Well, this looks completely finished. Wow. We've got our worms here. Everything is a fabulous moisture for them to live in, but not a good moisture for me to try and harvest. So I am going to have to take off the coverings on this and let this dry out. But I think I will start using a bit of a migration on this to see if I can't entice them to move off on one side so that when I come in here the next time, it will be time to harvest it. So let's, let's shove these guys all the way down to one end. I'm trying to pull out any paper that might have been laminated and had some plastic in it. So I'm gonna pile these guys up. And then let's put some new bedding on this side. Maybe we'll just be able to swap it out. It won't really be a migration. Maybe if I can get them to move over, then uh, I won't have to do anything but pull this side out. So let me get them some bedding. Okay, so even though these are the no grit worms, I am going to migrate them out into cardboard bedding that does have grit in it. We will start a brand new no grit bin when we harvest these out. I have a new idea. Okay, so I'm just going to marry these two up so that the worms can go from here to here. Um, but we will use some new worms in our new grit system that we're going to start out uh, the next time. Okay, so the plan for the 2022 no grit bin is to get a bin started that only has paper bedding in it and it does not have any grit and there's going to be no leaves. I think some people found fault with this no grit uh, experiment because it did have leaves in it and of course the leaves were on the ground and they could have picked up dust. So even though they appeared to do quite well and reproduced and everything without the presence of grit, um, maybe it did really have some grit from the beginning. Let me know your thoughts below if you think starting the no grit experiment over and then basically just having it with paper bedding. Uh, so this bin is going to be changed over to something else entirely and the no grit worms will just start being in this bin. So this will no longer be our no grit bin. I feel like I'm repeating myself. Anyway, so let's take the the t-shirt that was covering it and just put that over the new side and then we'll just kind of push this flat and then hopefully in a week or so I forgot to feed them. Why didn't you guys tell me I forgot to feed them? One moment. Okay. So this is what they're gonna get. They're gonna get a tiny little um, this is actually a pumpkin that never did get ripe. So we're gonna put that in there and cover that up and hopefully that will entice the little wormies to come over to this side and get out of those what look to be some of the most perfect castings I've ever seen. Look at that. Aren't they amazing? So I'm going to put this like this. I'm not going to cover it up uh, because I don't want these to retain their moisture. I want them to dry out a little bit. 
All right. Well, um, if you wanted to see the no-grid experiment from the beginning and wanted to follow it, I will put a link up above here so you can look at the other no-grit experiment videos and let me know what your thoughts are on it. Uh, if you like this video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody, have a good day.